In today's Kidsburg report, some local high school students are learning more in their jewelry class than just how to make necklaces, rings, and bracelets. Christine Sorensen is here to explain the life lessons that they're learning and how those lessons are having an impact outside the classroom. Christine. Well, Susan and Stacy, jewelry teacher Julie Farber used to donate the jewelry her students made to local charities like the Women's Shelter. But the students never really understood how happy it made the recipients. So when the mother of one of her students died from cancer five years ago, Mrs. Farber decided to directly connect the students with individuals living with cancer. And it has been a life-changing experience for all. <laughs> This might look like a traditional jewelry making class at Alderdice High School, but these students put in more than hard work. It's called jewelry love for a reason. I wanted to teach my kids what it feels like to do nice things for other people. And no matter what path you choose in life, whether it's academic or in the arts, you can always make a difference in the world, whether it's big or small. It starts when teacher Julie Farber connects each pair of students with a woman with cancer or a disease. 39 women this year. The students call the patient and ask questions about jewelry, their health, and about themselves. We try to incorporate what they love and colors that they like and things that they enjoy so it's like truly a specialized piece of jewelry that they can wear. The students then design and make the jewelry, like this cuff for a woman who likes earthy tones and mountains. These bracelets with the mantra strength, beauty, courage. The rose for a woman who loves beauty and the beast. Or this bracelet that student Kyleen Danaher made for her mom before she died from a rare disease. Like my mom, it always made her feel better. She wanted to wear them. She made it felt pretty. And it's nice to know that someone else is going to feel that way too. The students give their jewelry to the recipient in person at a special celebration. Linda Duty has been a recipient for the past four years. When you're sick with something like cancer, where the Treatment is as, almost as bad, sometimes worse than the disease. It's really lonely, and it was really encouraging to have um, these young people, these teenagers, who have the reputation of not caring, do this spectacular thing. It took away the loneliness feeling and made me feel like there were people that cared about me. That is excellent. I'm so proud of you. Excellent. The students are learning the lesson Farber hoped they would. I loved the feeling of giving to someone who cared and loved what I gave them so much. I was able to help someone else. It really made me feel important and good about myself to be able to help someone in that big of an impact in their lives. It happens every spring, semest spring semester at the school, and the students just gave the jewelry to the recipients this past weekend. There were lots of tears of joy. And for more on great opportunities for kids in the community, go to kidsburg.org. It's a resource for all things kids and family, and we have a link on our webpage. Great. So I know uh, Mrs. Farber, yes. she let me wear some of the jewelry that these girls were making. It is solid, it is beautiful, and you know that these pieces are so special to the women who are receiving them. I mean, that's what's so neat. It's so professional. It's incredible, yeah. the talent. Mm -hmm. But what's even more incredible is how much it means not only to the recipient, but then to the kids as well. It's such yeah. a great experience all around. Making jewelry and a difference. Yes. All right, thanks so much. Thanks for